that's a lot of perfume. <laughs> I recently developed a serious issue with fragrances. Uh, it's not that I don't like the smells they generate. It's the chemicals that generate the smells that my body cannot process. In April of 2009, I was working for a company while living in Houston. When I started, uh, when I started reacting to fragrances from my coworkers, as soon as I'm exposed to fragrances, I start having um, earaches, sinus problems, breathing difficulties, lightheadedness, even difficulty speaking, which I'm having now. <laughs> 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 um, I approached my superiors and HR. They said that there was little they could do, but I could actually approach the individuals and address the issue with them. When I did that, I uh, left feeling uh, awful and ill. Awful because I had to approach them about something that was sensitive and personal, and ill because the fragrances affected me. Up to this point, um, I was an extremely healthy person. I still am healthy. I'm a, a runner, a biker, a hiker, uh, anything that involves movement and the outdoors, I'm there. I'm very conscious about the food that I eat. I want to know where it comes from uh, and what's in it. That's not always possible, but I do try. Um, after my first, uh, oh, sorry, in uh, May of '09, I ended up in the emergency uh, department of a Houston hospital when the left side of my body became numb. Turns out it was my first official migraine headache. Um, my second official, unofficial migraine came when I got the bill. <laughs> <laughs> But after my visit to emergency, I started to do some research on uh, the topic of perfumes, colognes, and fragrances in general. To my relief, I wasn't the only one. There are many. But to my dismay, I learned a few startling things. Uh, the use of products that contain fragrances have increased tenfold over the past few decades. When I was a kid and my dad would splash on the old spice, it was for a special event. Uh, and back then, personal care products were only mildly scented. Uh, that's no longer the case. The fragrance in industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. Laundry detergents and laundry sheets now have scents that they advertise to last for days. Uh, there are uh, scented candles, air fresheners, and household cleaners. Now our personal care products are highly scented, and perfumes uh, that linger for days are part of daily wear. Fragrances are no longer made from natural ingredients like flowers. The process is too expensive. Everyone, uh, sorry, uh, did you know that 95% of the chemicals in fragrances are derived from petroleum? Everyone from Michael Jordan to Miss Piggy has a scent for sale. Uh, it's cheap to produce and sold with names that conjure up the most natural sky blue thoughts. It's a lucrative industry. Virtually all fragrance chemicals are volatile compounds, meaning they're airborne. Every person leaves a little bit of their scented product in the air whenever they, uh, wherever they go. Many of the chemicals in perfumes are the same <coughs> chemicals in cigarettes, and yet there's no regulation of the fragrance industry. The industry itself is largely self-regulated. They do not have to disclose what's in the fragrances because of trade secrets. The number of fragrance sensitivity people is rising, are growing steadily, but uh, why are some, affected, some people affected and some are not? Some of us are more vulnerable. The very young are most at risk. Uh, their body systems are still developing. Because women and children are generally smaller in size than men, um, this means the same exposure would be a higher dose for women and children. Pregnant women are actually told to avoid wearing perfume. But that reminds me of the old smoking law where the non-smoking table was next to the smoking table. The, air, the smoke was still airborne, and so is perfume. The pregnant lady isn't wearing perfume, 
but she's still receiving the effects and, the effects and so is her child. I cringe when I see the ads on TV about how to freshen your room. Just spray the breeze. I read a great quote on an asthma prevention site and it read, remember, clean does not have a smell. In Houston, scent-free policies were unheard of. I realized not much could, would change for me. I didn't feel like being the canary in the coal mine any longer. A position became available for my husband in St. John's and I'd always wanted to return home. So I left my job and we both returned to St. John's where on a daily basis I see signs that tell people that scented products make other people ill. I'm delighted to say that there's one on the door outside. Thank you.